who are you? Hi, my name is Erik Svillen and I'm a product manager for the uh, electric vehicles out of Atlas Copco. Why are electric vehicles important for Atlas Copco? We see electric vehicles as a part of the future. Uh, as mines go deeper and hotter, ventilation also becomes very problematic. It's one of the single highest cost drivers at depth. So uh, uh, electric vehicles removes a lot of the heat load and the vent need of ventilation underground. So uh, I think that will be so much more important for the mines to stay profitable in the future. Why are electric vehicles safer? Well, when you remove the diesel and you also remove all the diesel emissions and the diesel particulates. And the health aspects of that I think is almost unknown. Uh, then uh, another aspect is the noise. You lower the noise a lot and uh, also the uh, heat load in the mines. So uh, the areas where the machines are working and for the, where the people are working get so much cooler and that's going to be also very health beneficial for health in the long run. Are, what uh, does a diesel engine in a mine, does it really raise the temperature that much? Yes, actually it does. Uh, diesel engines raise the uh, temperature quite a lot. Uh, if you would uh, look at this machine behind me in a diesel version, if, and using the regula regulated airflow, then uh, it actually raises the temperature with about 19 degrees. So if you have 20 degree air coming in, it raises it to about 39. While this machine, in the same type of production, same productivity, it will actually only raise the temperature about three and a half. So 23 degrees instead of 39. It's a big difference. What, uh, with a vehicle like this, in terms of uh, improved ventilation or having to invest less in ventilation, what does that make possible for miners? Well, when you, mines are built around the machines of today. As soon as, when you change the machines, you can also change the mines. Uh, the tunnel sizes has to be adapted to fit both the machine and vent the ventilation. If you can reduce the ventilation, you can also make the tunnels, uh, ventilation, tubes smaller and the tunnel smaller. So actually you will reduce the waste from the mine and also you can drive the tunnels uh, uh, less cost, at less cost and faster. So you can actually reach the ore also faster and get a quicker payback on your mining investments. Uh, what, how are you taking this out to uh, miners right now and what have been your customers' reactions to it? I think we get very positive feedback here at the show. This is the launch. So uh, many people see this for the first time, even though we have been running these machines already for two years so during testing to prove the technology. It becomes very important when you introduce new technology, then you do it right. At, uh, and the battery machines is something you really want to do right at the first time. What, um, there's something special about the types of batteries. Uh, this is a special type of lithium battery that you're using for this truck. Yeah, the chemistry we use is lithium iron phosphate. Uh, the reason behind that is because it uh, is the safest in, in aspects of thermal runaway or uh, fire. So, uh, and you don't want to have a fire underground, so let's go safe. Uh, why did you start with this particular piece of equipment for, uh, doing, uh, for using battery technology? I think the ST7 is the right size for us to start. Uh, it's uh, normally the mines that use this are narrow vein type mines, and they're following the ore bodies which make and quite small tunnels, so it becomes quite difficult to ventilate. So there are some of the biggest benefits is in, in those. Uh, so that, I think that uh, it's the right size to, to start for. What's the future for battery technology? What would you see taking this application out to other products or services in Atlas Copco? I think you will see a lot more battery equipment in the future. The savings and poten potential savings and the health aspects around it is so obvious. But also, in a broader sense or a bigger picture, uh, the battery technology can eliminate the carbon emissions locally and also because they're so much more efficient, even if you produce electricity with coal power, they can lower the carbon emissions with 25%. But if you also consider the savings in ventilation, uh, the vent, uh, carbon emission counts that this one can reduce 25 to 200%, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.